Right, not gonna lie, a bit short of YouTube content in there. So, I'm gonna show you, is because I do get asked this all the time. If you ever put like screw to a cylinder, like I have here, um, always get asked like, what screws are you using, stuff like that. So I thought, let's do a little bloody video on it. So as you can see here, these brass um, Munson ring clips are wicked for clipping the D1 and D2 to. They're just like, they end up being the perfect like depth here. As you can see, I've clipped that one there already. So, um, I just got, I've got this little box of self tapper screws. Get these in screw fix. Really good for flues as well. Like if you've ever, you know, come across a flue without any screws in it, these are great. They've got some little self tapper bits on them. And you can see that. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use this little screw here just to drill the hole, but then I'll probably put this thicker one on with the little round head through as I have up there. See that up there? I've done that. So. Um, yeah, that's what I've done. So I've obviously got that in position. I've marked up where they're gonna go. Um, and obviously I've just got my posi driver head here. So should I go in there? Because you don't need to go mad with these, you just need to pierce the skin. Like so. I'll do the other side. I used to make a joke on Instagram, say, yeah, you need big four inch screws. <laughs> but we're just literally piercing this outer skin on here. And on the, obviously, we've got this bit of skin here. Ooh, I don't think I'm gonna get the angle there. Am I gonna get the angle? Nope. Let's not do that, let's take that out. So, So, I can get this one in there. So obviously what we've got here is just, there's that little thin skin, there's a load of insulation, then it's the stainless steel cylinder. So, because that's a tiny little screw. This one just, this thicker screw here, like it's not very big. And you'll see like when I undo this. See, I don't want it sticking through too much. So when that's in there, see, it's just gonna stick through a little bit. So now I'm gonna screw this in here. Come on, there you go. Okay, perfect. I'm getting up one of these screws. No, this is absolutely fine to do, right? There's no difference here to, you know, what the cylinder manufacturers do. When you buy a pre-plumbed cylinder, they clip all sorts to the side of these. So don't feel feel like you're voiding any warranties or anything like that by doing that. There's the reason I'm doing it on this side. You're thinking, why haven't you clipped it to the wall? Is this was just worked out a lot easier for me. It's come through like that. Obviously, I'm gonna tee my inlet into it so you can drain the cylinder off down into this D2 anyway. And this is my secondary hot water return. It's gonna tee into that as well. So, yeah, I thought I'd show you this. Got that. I'm gonna do this. Trick to this is don't lose your screws. See that? Hold on to that. Uh, I guarantee that'll just bounce away. <laughs> Get that tight in, nice and tight. Look at that, lovely. <sighs> Obviously what I've liked here is that I've had this cylinder in and out loads of times because I wanted that to go straight out, straight out. So when I, cord, when I did that core hole, it ends up perfectly up, up, up onto this up here. So, come back in there, get that 
and that. Like so, screw that up like that. Do you know what I mean? It just makes such a neat job. It looks wicked. <laughs> Come on. We're doing so well. Come on. There we have it. I think that looks wicked. Looks really neat, doesn't it? So it's all clipped, long there, nice and straight, straight out of the D2. And uh, that is how you clip your pipes to the side of a cylinder. Hope you liked and enjoyed. Don't know why I said that, hope you liked. So there we have it. If you think screwing to a cylinder is good, then you should check out Powered Now, because that's even better. I have a special code, I'll put the link in the description, and it'll give you six months off Powered Now, which just makes every bit of difference possible. If you're running your own business, it's the only way. It does all your quoting, all your invoicing. If you've got staff, you can send them in different places. You can, ha you can set up your diary schedule. You can get your customers to select an appointment for you. There is so much on there. It's incredible. Um, so go and check it out. Just even if you want to give it a six month try just to see how it goes, check out Powered Now. And I hope you enjoyed the video.